texture, range, accent, personality. These are the four fundamentals of any impression you want to do. Good afternoon everyone, I'm The Impressionist and today we're going to be looking at how you yourself can get started doing your own voices at home. Impressions can be broken up into basically four parts. I like to call this the trap method. First thing you want to focus on is texture. Now the texture of a voice, if you're doing someone soft, just breathe out a lot I guess. Somebody who's been addicted to cigarettes for like way too long, you probably want to do something a little bit more like this. Consistency also varies with texture. Next thing you want to focus on is range. Range can mean pitch, it can mean how loud you can get, it can mean a, a few different things, but usually range means pitch. Kind of like Morty, where he kind of has like the whole like, you know, breaking voice like every literal second that, he's, that, he, that he speaks and he says something. And then you have the opposite, you have Rick. He's usually mostly down here. Depends on, you know, what your voice is capable of doing. Another great example I like to use is Kevin Conroy's Batman and Mark Hamill's Joker. Kevin Conroy's always down here. Whatever, let's move on. A is for accent, which is a completely, totally different beast. I could do a whole video on that just on its own. Real accents, the best way to do it is just by going and living or, or, or visiting those areas where people talk like that. Um, or if it's a made up accent, then watch TV or something where they have the accent. I don't, I don't know. Okay, it's just, it's just your call. The accent just takes a lot of practice. There's this whole dialect, you know, foundation that you need to, you know, practice and like every accent is different. So practice your accents because if you can't do the accent, you're not going to be able to do the character's voice. And our final part is personality. If you're doing a voice for a character and you're not putting any oomph into it, then you're doing it wrong. My favorite character to do a voice is for is Junkrat from Overwatch. Fire in the hole! And if you're doing Hunzo, you're going to be very, very serious all the time. Basically, when you're doing characters' voices, characters are just supposed to be interesting. Basically, pick the best part of that character or the, the most important part of that character, and you hike it up to 11. I hope this helps any of you guys who are out there trying to do your own voices and impersonations and garbage. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Please make sure to leave a like to let me know, and I will see you guys in the next video. But until then, doodles!